Today, I would like to share with you a revelation that I had some time back that I think is uh, pivotal to share, to share with you. I think it's important that I, I make a video where I talk about this uh, topic and uh, where I talk about this, this uh, revelation or uh, vision. So I had uh, at the, in the night time, I had this vision where I saw Joel Osteen, that uh, very popular American uh, preacher, Joel Osteen. And uh, I saw him holding another Bible. And I mean, by that I mean, not this Bible. Not the Holy Bible, not the Holy Written Word of God, but he had another uh, Bible. And for those and for those who are uh, a little bit mature in the spirit, they can see through his false uh, teaching, you see. So I was uh, a little bit taken by surprise because not that I'm not aware of as a minister of the gospel and as a, a person who has learned together with the Holy Spirit or by the grace of God and to expose such false uh, teachers as Joel Osteen, and you know, you have many false ministers, false pastors, teachers in the United States. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. So, anyways, I, were, I was uh, taken by surprise because I saw, you know, when the Lord uh, reveals something to you, you uh, it, it uh, takes your attention. Amen. So, I saw that other Bible. I saw another Bible. You know, the Bible speaks about uh, also, uh, as I shared in the last video here on YouTube, in 2 Corinthians 11, another gospel. In other words, another word of God, another gospel, another spirit, another Jesus. So this is what these fake people are preaching. I saw another Bible. You see, this is his secret. How can he attract and magnet so many people? And when I say many, I mean millions of people to his uh, ministry. He had to teach something that is itching in the ears of people, something that is satisfying to the flesh, something that is satisfying to the earthly, demonic nature in human beings, you see. Apostle Paul is speaking about this, he's taking on this subject in 2 Timothy 4, and I would like to read to you from verse 1. The title of this uh, paragraph is Preach the Word, Preach the Word in the Amplified Bible. I'm reading from now. I solemnly charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word as an official messenger. Be ready. When the time is right and even when it's not, keep your sense of urgency, whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable, whether convenient or inconvenient, whether welcome or unwelcome, correct those who err in doctrine or behavior, warn those who sin, exhort and encourage those who are growing towards spiritual maturity with inexhaustible patience and faithful teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction, accurate instruction that challenge them with God's truth. So you see, Paul is talking here about people will not, a time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth. And this is much of the point. Joel Osteen is not challenging anyone with the truth of the gospel, with the truth of God's word, with the truth of Jesus Christ. He is only saying things that will itch the ears of his followers. He is saying things to maintain the crowd and to attract more and more people to his false teachings. Because the fact and the truth is that only a few people will tolerate the truth. That's why Jesus the Messiah said, 
Only a few people will enter my kingdom. Only a few people will enter paradise. And it's very difficult to enter. And the Lord is also in the gospel speaking about a constricted way, a narrow way, and a constricted and narrow gate. You see? And uh, apropos, or when speaking about narrow, if you listen to, you don't need to do so much uh, research to find out what Joel Osteen is talking about. You will hear him. You will hear him use the word broad. He's even speaking about the Pope. Can you believe that in a positive sense? That the Pope has such a broad view. You see? So for these false preachers like Joel Osteen and many others, the way is very broad. It's not narrow, it's broad. It's wide. It's easy to travel. Like Jesus said, the road to hell is easy to travel. People won't tolerate sound doctrine that challenges them with God's truth, but wanting to have their ears tickled or itched with something pleasing, they will accumulate for themselves many teachers one after the other chosen to satisfy, to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold. So this, uh, this uh, Bible that I saw is Joel Osteen's secret book. And this is what he used to satisfy the itching ears of his followers and all those uh, people that, uh, you know, he have many friends in the, in the secular world who claim also, some of them also claim to be Christian, big names in the TV, in the movie or TV industry. You see, the famous names in this world, I mean. So... Those people, they will not, my point is that those people, they will not tolerate the true doctrine, the true message and preaching of, of Jesus Christ. So the word of God says here that they will accumulate for themselves many teachers to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold. Joel Osteen knows very well this witch doctor, mark my words, witch doctor, he is a witch. He is a ambassador of Lucifer, of the devil, of Satan. He knows what? He knows the desires of the men. He knows the desires of the people that follow him. That's why Apostle Paul is saying here, to satisfy their own desires and support the errors they hold. He knows that people will not will not tolerate or will not like to hear about death, dying with Christ, getting nailed to the cross, uh, allowing uh, the flesh or the human nature, the human needs, the human desires to be nailed to the cross, having your eyes fixed on Jesus, not on this world, not behaving or conducting our lives as the people do in this world. He knows that people don't want to hear about that. That's why he's all, always talking about things, how you can make it in this world. He's always having his sermons and messages focusing on what you can achieve to do in this world. Whereas the doctrine of Jesus Christ is the opposite. So I just wanted to make uh, a video where I'm talking about this and this alone. I saw that uh, secret uh, book. I saw that other gospel and I saw this false preacher, Joel Osteen, holding that other Bible. So if I go back to what the, the great Apostle Paul said prior to verse 3, what did he say, people of God? Preach the word when the time is right and even when it's not right. Correct. Correct, he said. So... I want to correct you people who are willing to listen. You who, who are willing to listen. You see, because the Bible says correct to those who err, those who are at fault or those who are in the wrong doctrine. This is certainly a wrong doctrine. He is teaching you. So by the love of Jesus Christ, I want to make this video to try to reach out to you, to correct you, to take you away of that, from that 
wrong doctrine or from that uh, that way of error, you see, and by the grace of God and by the true doctrine put you on that right way, which is the straight way. So God bless you. And uh, remember to make a comment if you would like to make a comment on this video and also subscribe to our videos and I will see you next time.